Hi all, this particular video is dedicated to Mutaya Murlitharan. So let's look into his ODI records. The total number of matches he played is 350 and the total number of wickets he took is 534 wickets in one day internationals. As you know that he took 800 wickets in test match cricket. So the total overs bowled is 3135 and the best bowling in ODI is 7 for 30. So let's look into his records in detail. The first report I'm going to create is total wickets versus opposition team. So we have opposition as a dimension and I'm going to showcase wickets across that specific team. Let's create a bar graph. Let's make use of sorting here and just drag and drop wickets into labels and make use of entire view. And you can see he took 96 wickets against Pakistan and has 74 wickets against New Zealand and India. And next, 59 wickets versus Zimbabwe, 53 versus Australia, next to South Africa, 49. So let's look into the next report that is what year wise wickets. So we have a particular date column. In Tableau, one of the flexibility is whenever you're going to double click or when, when you place, if it is a date data type, if you're going to use that specific date column into rows or columns, by default, we are going to get year. So that is what the advantage in Tableau. So let's look into the wickets. And if you can see here, he started his career in 1993 and from 1993 to 2011, and you can see these are the number of wickets that took across that specific year. And if you can see this particular stats in 20, in 2001, the total number of wickets he took is 56 wickets. And if you want to fetch some part of data across that specific year, let's say, if you want to filter out some part of data specific to year and uh, across opposition team, and you can also create that information. So I'm going to sh showcase that later, but let's create a bubble graph based on the number of wickets it took size and just drag and drop wickets into labels showcase those total number of wickets across that specific year so it took 56 wickets in 20 uh, in 2001 and then you can see here in 1996 36 in 2000 it took 34 and in 2003 it is 46 so or you can make use of sorting so that at least uh, the bigger in the size, right? It shows that nearby. So these are the total number of wickets that took across the specific year. Let's look into the different report. That is what across each and individual ground, the total number of wickets across a specific ground. So let's sort it out. And if you want, we can create bar graph and just drag and drop wickets into color and just drag and drop wickets into labels. So he took 82 wickets and I think he took more number of wickets across uh, against Pakistan. So that means most of the matches might play in Sarja. So that is the reason you can see here, he took 82 wickets again uh, against Pakistan and in Sarja, this was the total number of wickets. Colombo, you can see it's RPS crown, like 75 wickets. In Dambula, it is 42. Colombo in SSE, we can see 22 wickets. So these are the total number of wickets across particular venue. And let's look into a different stats. This is overs versus maidens. Uh, let's take opposition and you can make use of total number of overs, bold versus opposition team. And you can see versus Pakistan, he bowled almost like 586. And versus India is 548. Versus New Zealand, 370 plus. Australia is also close to 370 plus. So, and if you can make use of, if you create a bar graph, let's create a bar graph. Let's sort it out. And just drag and drop the total number of overs into labels to showcase that specific information. And you can also drag and drop made in overs into columns to showcase the same. So let's go back to the next marks card. 
drops sum of overs and you can make use of made in overs into labels to showcase the proper number of overs made in against that specific country. So versus Pakistan, he bowled 585 overs and you can see 29 made in overs. So versus New Zealand, he bowled less than Pakistan and less than India, you can see 372 overs, but he may made in um, the made in overs is 30, so around 38. And you can see here versus Zimbabwe, so he bowled 256 overs and uh, total number of made in overs is 31. So this is what exceptional record uh, overall in one day internationals, that is what uh, the total number of wickets is 534 and he is the highest wicket taker across uh, both the formats in one day internationals and also in test match cricket. And I'm dedicating this particular video to Mutaya Murli Thurin. Thanks for watching and please do subscribe for more videos.